get education. Then when you get educated, what do you do? You got to choose between a job and a career. Okay? I never had a fucking career. I had jobs. Jobs. And they went away because people change. You hire into a gig, it's pretty nice. Three months later, they're fucking with you, and I'm out of there. I don't hang around. I'm not looking for seniority. So jobs don't make it. Oh, I will say one thing. I will say one thing. I almost had a career. I almost had a career when I was just a lad, and I joined the Air Force to protect us from Korea. And, uh, you know, I could have been a general. I could have been a general. But you get a couple of court martials, two or three civilian arrests, you know, and they lose their enthusiasm in it. <laughs> I don't know why it is. They turn cold on me. Dig this for rank changes in four years in the Air Force. This tells the whole story. Airman basic, airman third class, airman basic, airman third class, airman basic, airman third class, airman second class. Airman first class for 10 days, busted back to Airman third class, busted back to Airman basic, promoted to Airman third class, and discharged. Yeah! And I deserved every fucking bust I got. I had one asshole of the commanding officer. I love it when people... Fuck these motivators. That's another thing I gotta talk about. Bullshit and jive, motivating. Only person who can motivate anybody in this room is yourself. That's it. Nobody outside you can fucking help you. You can motivate yourself. But that's by the point. Here I come, getting ready to get out. Oh, this guy was beautiful. The commanding officer, he says, I know what you need, Carlin. You need some stripes. I'm going to motivate you. I'm going to start giving you stripes, man. <laughs> All right, it's the day that the bulletin board, they're putting a the thing on the bulletin board, Airman third class, Carlin promoted to Airman second class. Bullshit. I was right across the street from the fucking sheriff's office duking it out with the deputy man. Ten days in bad ass county jail, no corporal for Patrick man. You can't motivate me. And I'll tell you something, it was the nicest little jail. It was like being in with Barney Fife and uh, the other dude, Andy Griffin. They used to send me out in the morning for donuts. <laughs> Are you ready for that? Oh, shit, yeah. The Air Force, I should have made it a career. But instead I stumbled into sales, you know. And uh, I don't even want to talk about that. I was talking with Eric before and I was... I was getting I was getting nauseous just recalling sales trips that were so bad. But uh, I did meet some funny people in the sales department. I'm gonna let that go by the by. And I'm gonna talk to you about luck. I'm gonna talk to you about luck. Because I'm gonna tell you something. If anybody ever says to you, gee, what's the most important thing in the world, Rick? You tell them luck. And you will ring the bell every fucking time. Because luck is it. And it begins with that lucky sperm. He's there. He's loitering up near the front. He's not the one with the most stamina. He's not even the sperm who swims the best. He's not even the sperm who's motivated the best. He's just in the right spot when the big bang occurs and he's washed up there, penetrates the egg, and there you go, folks. Mr. Lucky Sperm. And from then until you cock the eternal nod, it's all about luck. Who hits the lotto? And who gets hit by the bullet during the driveway? Just like flipping a coin, motherfucker. It ain't up to you. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Oh, the corporate shit. Well, I'll tell you, what else did I have on the tour about? Oh, oh, yeah. I guess I am outraged. I'm outraged. Totally, totally outraged. And I don't even know any facts, man. And I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how outraged am I going to be? When I know some facts, for Christ's sakes, I will truly be outraged. Let me look at some of the stuff I got here. Uh, oh, I got religious stuff for you because uh, it's always nice, you know? 
And here's a guy, here's a guy who's a priest, okay? And he's a gay priest, and uh, that's okay. He wasn't bothering none of the kids or nothing. But he did steal a uh, million dollars to take and have fun with his friends with. So this made me wonder. I said, you know, when you're having trouble with the big religions, even Vanity Fair had it. They're taking a poll. And they're saying a lot of people want to get away from the big religions and pick a little religion. Well, that's okay. There's about 4,000 religions anyway, so shit, you can pick something. You can find anything. You can find people that say they drop people into goddamn volcanoes. And these are famous folks. But I checked with my man, Dominic Fobiscum. And Dominic Fobiscum is the, uh, he's the religious and entertainment editor at the paper that I run up in my head. I let him hang around up in my head with some other people like 47811 up above and Frank the Wanderer and I will be out of here. And these are my kind of folks and they hang up there. So I had Dominic find me some nice religions from which you may choose. And one of them is the First Church of God the Agnostic. Yeah, God the Agnostic. God came by one afternoon to the Reverend Slack's place and he sat down and he expressed his own doubts in himself to the Reverend Slack. Well, directly from God's mouth to Slack's ear, they got themselves a little book going called God's Own Doubts. And for anybody looking for a nice new religion, that's a free book. That's a free book, God damn it. Uh, $99 for uh, handling and mailing, and that book is yours. That book is yours to treasure. Uh, hey, I'll tell you what else they got. The Church of the Nueva Lumba. Now there's a church you can get into, man. The Church of the Nueva Lumba. My man, the Reverend Vittorio Gossman, the one of us he's called, he's assembled the hottest dancing chicks from Cuba, Brazil, and they're doing the rumba and the samba, and they're going to help you shake your way into heaven, motherfuckers. Yeah, and this week he's going to have a special group uh, from Trinidad and Tobago, the championship hot steaming liner babies and bloods will be passed around during communion. And that's a religion you can get behind. Alright, I'm going to fade away now. I'm going to fade away like an old soldier. Good for you, man. That was great. All right, guys. The next performer.